See, we have to understand what happens again with Risei. What I like about Risei specifically is that although she has one shadow that you find in her dungeon, she has plenty of shadows, every single costume she has put on. Yet, she rejects them. Towards the end of her social link, she's asked again if she wants to be in a film. She gives her manager again the answer, no. But in her final social link, she gives you a photograph, proudly signed, Reset. She realizes that all the resets inside her are her. She awakens to the fact that she is Kanzion, or she is Kanon, by understanding that she is all of herself. We now need to talk about Myoe. Myoe was a 13th century Buddhist priest who recorded his dreams in a diary. Myoe was the primary Japanese influence on Kawai's work. Kawai viewed Myoe as his teacher. Myoe writes about one of his dreams, I dreamt that I had constructed a pond which covered an area of about half to three quarters of an acre. There was hardly any water in it. A sudden downpour filled the pond with pure, clear water. There was another large pond next to it that seemed to be an old river. When the small one was full, there was only about one foot separating it from the larger one. If it rained just a little more, the small pond would merge with the larger pond. I felt that if they merged, the fish, turtles, and other creatures could move over to the small pond. It seemed to be the 15th day of the second month. I thought, tonight the moon will rise over this pond and is sure to be splendid. Interpretation, the small pond is meditation. The large pond is the fundamental samadhi to which all Buddhas and bodhisattvas have awakened. The fish and other creatures are all sages. Each being was deeply significant, and I contemplated this fact. The lack of water stands for the time of no practice. Now even with a little faith, all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas can come through. The absence of fish in the small pond at the beginning represents the initial aspiration for enlightenment. Myoe saw the truth, but he did not experience it. It is the understanding that we are part of one much larger pool. We are ultimately connected. Risei's caring nature exemplifies that. Myoe did give advice to an emperor, Yasutoki. Myoe told the emperor that if he wanted to change the nation, he would have to take away his own greed. The emperor was still doubtful because he thought other people's greed would remain intact. Myoe told the emperor that if he took away his own greed, the people would follow. That is because one person also represents the whole. This is the fundamental relationality embedded in Japanese society. That is because in the story of the warrior that says he is Kanon, he is influenced by his friends around him. It is stated in the Hua Yen Qing, if one begins to seek to become a bodhisattva, one will understand that a small world is a large world, and a large world a small world. Moreover, a small world is many worlds, and many worlds a small world. A wide world is a narrow world, a world is limitless. A defiled world is a pure world, and a pure world a defiled world. Risei is both all of Reset and just herself. That is the limitlessness of the self. You are both one, and you are many. She is both Risei, Reset, and every single Reset, and none of them are not Risei. They are all her. There is another dream that is highly important for Risei, and probably all of Persona 4. In the garden by my window is a statue of a reclining bodhisattva. I'm peeking into the house through the window, talking to my mother and brother inside. Now all by myself, I must go out from the house into the world where there is no one I can trust. I'm scared but this is the adventure I've got to do. That is the fundamental understanding of oneself and how oneself is embedded in one's culture. At this moment, the Bodhisattva glances about and then he gets up. He is alive. I'm relieved to see that he actually is alive because I had been suspicious of the statue from the time I had discovered it. In the world outside my house, Japanese language is not used. Since I can speak a little Korean, I think I will manage somehow. And without a word being spoken, I understand that the Bodhisattva is going to come along with me. My mother and brother encourage me to go with him. Since I'm terribly insecure going by myself, I have to take the chance, trust as much as possible, and go with him. Before we start, the Bodhisattva teaches me Korean pronunciation. It is quite interesting, and so, now we are ready to go. Now, although the Bodhisattva here is not Kanzeon, we can see a similar process to really what the Personas are in Persona 4 and in the Persona series in general. The individuation process is a process of finding this archetypal figure to be a guide. This guide, like Kanzeon or anything else, can be there to help you on your way, just as it is for Risei to go on and be herself outside of her idol self.
This turning point was necessary for understanding the importance of Buddhism in his psychology. Kawhi was disassociated from any religion related to Japan, but this dream made him realize the importance of connecting with his traditional roots. Risei reconnects with her family's business. Through connecting to her roots, she's able to find herself, reawaken to her roots, and eventually go back into the idol business. One can now understand the very contradictory and paradoxical nature of Buddhism, as found the most in Zen.